the um, answers that I went through for each and every one of them. But, or you could always stay after school and come and see me and I'd be more than happy to help. But I want to just kind of do a couple extra problems because a lot of students did have trouble with adding and subtracting as well as solving. So I'm just going to cover um, these two topics before you guys take your test. So again, guys, remember we cannot add fractions unless we have common denominators. We realize that our common denominator is simply just going to be the product. It's just going to be the product of our two denominators, x minus 4 times x plus 1. Right? So in this case, now all we simply need to do is multiply to get our common denominators. So to get x minus 4, x plus 1, we can just multiply by x plus 1 on the top and the bottom. Remember, you have to multiply on the top and the bottom to produce equivalent fractions. Some students would just multiply by like a number to eliminate the fraction. But in this case, we've got to get common denominators. Now, I am going to simplify the numerators. So I am going to apply distributive property because um, usually Let's do it this way. Because usually when we have an answer, like on a multiple choice test or you know, any, um, anything where we have to choose the answers, typically our, our numerators are going to be simplified. Sometimes our denominators could be, but I'm not going to go through all that extra work. But basically, you guys can see by distributing this, now what we have is we have the same denominators, right? So just like 1 third plus 1 third is 2 thirds, these have the same denominators. Now we can just combine the numerators. And the only like terms I have is 3x and 2x. So my final answer is 3x squared plus 5x minus 8 all over my common denominator, x minus 4 times x plus 1. Anybody have any questions? Good. OK. Did anybody get the right answer?